here Haley and Jake. After spending eight months driving around North America in our van Vincent, we've decided to start a ground up van conversion. In the middle of COVID-19. Last week, we installed our fan. And this week, we're installing our windows. So on the back of our van, we're installing the sliding windows. They're Sierra Lawrence VW1033. You can find a link in the description below. And then on the front of the van, we're putting a T-vented full-size window on our sliding door. adjustment and realized that we were getting shavings on the side of the van so we taped up a garbage bag out here as well as one in here to catch all of the metal shavings cleared for takeoff tape it as you go it'll stop it from flexing it's vibrating a lot but it vibrates less when it's fast but you're supposed to cut on slow but it's so thin Who cut this? All right. <laughs> if you guys like this video, subscribe to Haley and Jake. We post on YouTube and on Instagram. YouTube every week. There's a hole in the van. Oh no! And it's getting cloudy. Oh no. You did awesome. Here's a cookie. Feel your hands the way you're touching me around my neck. Got chills. Okay, we've been out here so long, everything else died, so we're back to my phone. I'm going to go to the inside and clean up the spray foam so we can mount the inner ring. Haley is going to paint the cutout and then we're going to get our window in. No need to fight it. I can't hide it. We won't regret it. So come with me, maybe we're meant to be a perfect melody. I don't want this moment. So Jake's inside tightening all the screws. And then whenever, whichever screw he's tightening, I push on. So we get a nice tight seal. So everything has been going well with this window installation. Um, the hole we cut is a tiny bit oversized, but it looks like it's fitting perfect. We just uh, positioned the window right in the middle and everything is looking good. It's clamping, but we are running into one problem. So what's happening is some of the holes come pre-drilled and some don't. So the ones that are pre-drilled on the clamping ring fit well. The other ones bottom out in the extrusion. There's not enough room for those screws to go all the way through. And this has been pretty frustrating. So Jake spent all morning on the phone calling CR Lawrence, CR Lawrence distributors, installers. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to try pre-drilling the holes a little bit and then we're going to do a test one that should solve this and we'll let you know. So this is what we're dealing with. We have a foam gasket, we have an aluminum extrusion that's part of the window and that's what you screw into. Sierra Lawrence, when I called them, said that you don't actually use the screws to install it. You just use urethane and glue the foam to the van. That's ridiculous. So when I asked her a couple questions about it, the lady kind of backtracked and she said she could email the engineering department, but that's kind of all they could do. So I called a couple of the distributors and they didn't really tell us anything either. So what we're going to do is we're going to try pre-drilling the holes like these ones are. And then that should solve the problem. Don't want this night to end Yeah, about time we stop pretending yeah, yeah, yeah. Come home with me Let's You know that I'm the queen of overthinking Go. 
So we learned a couple things cutting the other side. Number one is plastic bags. We were about halfway through and we realized we were getting metal shavings all over the van. So we take plastic bags to the inside and out of this so we can completely cover the paint. So number two, the window is going to sit on the bottom line. So you need to have your bottom line exactly where you want it and then have the tolerance on the top. So this needs to be exactly there and the top can be able to have a bit of, a bit of clearance on it. Uh, the third thing we learned is that when we measured inside the van, it wasn't quite, well, based on the wood we made, it wasn't exactly the same as outside. So when you're cutting the second one, measure it quite a few times. And this one, we're actually cutting the hole a little bit smaller. When we're using the jigsaw, I actually found on really thin sheet metal that uh, it works, it vibrates a lot less if you put the speed up a little bit. And then you need to have whatever this thing is, the amount it goes forward and back, that speed is zero. But they also recommend usually cutting sheet metal at a really slow speed. I found it works a lot better if you have it a bit faster. Just kind of play with it until you find where it stops vibrating a ton. We're also using really fine blades. They're 30 teeth French. Is that how it's rated? They're ultra fine sheet metal blades. We were a little bit worried that we would be warping the metal on the cuts, so we did a few test ones. And these blades are perfect. There's not a single warp. single drop of water. Sierra Lawrence uh, says to just follow the cutout, but I've read some people who have done that and they cut the corners way too large for the window, so we wanted to make our own template. And the window cutout, based on our template, seems to be pretty good. So we can probably use that. And the corners, you can see in this side, are a little larger than I'd, we'd like to have them. I think the actual uh, radius of the window is three inches. So we cut this three, two and three quarters to be a little bit bigger which means the actual window is something like this, and all of that gap would be extra. So we're gonna mark this out, and then tape everything off, and start cutting. We're pros at this now. Window number one, window number two, window number three. Also, how great is this? I can spy on Finley from the window to make sure he is the game plan for this window is we're going to follow this outline, drill holes from the inside out so we have a nice pattern. Then we're going to go to the outside, tape it off, mark it with a mark it, everything with a pencil. Then we're going to cut this from the outside so that we don't get metal shavings all over the van. Just about to cut our third and final window into the van. This one is a little bit different than the ones we did before. This one is uh, made to fit in the sliding door. So all we have to do is follow the inner template that's on the inside. So what we've done is we've drilled holes so we can see it on the outside, marked everything off with tape, and then drawn out based on our stencil and the lines we drew where we have to cut. We've completely covered the van so that we avoid getting metal shavings on the metal all over the van. Last time we did it, we didn't cover anything. We got shavings everywhere. Then the time after that, we covered everything but the roof. We got shavings all over the top. 
Now it's fully covered. Should be good. <laughs> Half-time review, how would you say you performed in the first half? Well, it's cutting really nicely. Uh, we spent quite a lot of time actually deliberating how to cut the metal properly. Um, we won't think about angle grinders, but we didn't think we'd be able to hit the corners. And then also you have metal shavings everywhere, which you also get with the jigsaw. We ultimately went with a jigsaw because it uh, is safer with working with spray foam. And also we are using an ultra fine sheet metal blade and it is giving us a great cut. Frame that put on the wall. going back before it cuts the and one ice cold beer please i'm sorry can i see your license um i have a vacuum license to vacuum <laughs> license to suck <laughs> oh. <laughs> Continuing our trend of working after dark. Windex for all your cleaning needs. Well, that's it. All three windows are installed. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you learned something or found it valuable, give us a thumbs up. Consider hitting the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave us a little comment. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Billy has other intentions for right now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>